And I want to say welcome to the family tree family. Give yeah, yourselves yeah, yeah. a hand for showing up tonight. Yeah, really. You know, no matter up. where you yes, are, yes, where yes, you're yes, coming man. from, we want to welcome you uh, yeah, to the family yeah. tree. And the family tree yeah. is all about, yes, that is gathering around the tree. Like the old that. concepts uh -huh. of gathering around the tree. When you had a problem, like you went to the family, right? You go to the family. That means that when you go to the family, that's where your problem and solution is supposed to be. That's your real social security, right? There we go. There that we go. Only there we real go. social security ain't a check. It's your family. <laughs> Somebody going to help you out. That's wow. right. Don't so that. we gather around the tree. We bring problems. We bring solutions. We talk about what's going on in the world. And also we do it from a holistic perspective. So spirit, mind, and yes, body yes, in that yes. order. Amen. All right. So I want to say uh, Big B, give Big B, Bill Morgan, oh, a hand man. over there. Yeah, He's my co-host oh, with the most. Good time over here. All right. <laughs> yeah. up, buddy. You see All Bill right. still in church over there. Hallelujah. He's in church I'm over there. <laughs> I don't know where that Amen. one came from. It just goes on slip off the that did, that did. <laughs> to the other uh -huh. side. The Holy Ghost got a hold of you. That's what it was. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Big B, thank you so much, man. Yeah, How man. you doing today, buddy? Hey, man, I'm doing really, really well, except for that thunder I heard just now. We were fine over here. It's been a yes. crazy day. You know, yes, it started yes. off very, very foggy and hot and humid. Yeah. And yeah, then all yeah. of a sudden, the sun came up. Yeah. And around 1130, it rained. Yeah, strange. And now we weather. got this crazy look. You know what? Hey, remember the old days when you had the sun and then rain at the same time? They said the mm. devil was beating his wife. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I do remember that. I do uh, remember boy. that. Yes, well, look, I'm, I'm, just, I'm grateful to be here and, and hanging around the tree with all the rest of the family, buddy. That's what's up. All right. Now, you know what's going on in the world, family. Ooh, People, they buddy. threw the mask off. They they going and buying swimsuits. Everybody's suits. going Everybody crazy. running this going. It's going <laughs> wild crazy, y'all. Everybody they don't want to miss this Memorial Day. You know, Man. this Memorial Day yeah. is catch up yeah. time, you Ooh, know, Lord. when it comes to the world of finances. And, yes. you know, you know that, yeah, you know, buddy. a lot of people are, you know, airplane trips are going like crazy. You can't rent a car nowhere. It's really Isn't become, that the truth? Can't find it is, a car. You can't find a car to rent. You know, people are really getting out. You know, people have been in such a moment of isolation that it's time to break out. So now, you know, they sort of threw caution to the wind, big, big B, and said, Man. hey, I'm going to do this now. But I'm one of here to tell you, family, don't take the mask off yet. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, <laughs> you cannot ignore what's going on in the world. You got it. You got to be careful what's happening in the world. So we're going to talk about all of that today, what's happening in the world, because you got some brown folks over there in India that are going through something that you can't imagine. They're finding Ooh, more bodies that weren't even counted, you know, yeah. in their total sum. So we are looking at something that we got to be careful because indeed, that stuff indeed. can roll this way real quick. And here we are wide open. So mm. we're going to talk about that. But before that, Big B, give us the numbers for the COVID. Where right, are buddy. we right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. here we go, guys. As of 14 minutes ago, <clears throat> here are the quick facts for our total confirmed cases around the world. We're looking at... 169,049,370. That's the total confirmed cases. Total critical cases, 94,894. Total deceased, 3,511,002,003. Total active cases, 18,156,706. Okay, Dr. P, give me my drum roll. Give me my drum roll. Mental health time, mental health time. But here we go. Bam! Total recovery, guys, 150,798,953. Wow. Yo, wow. yo. That's oh, what's wow. up. Wow, that's amazing. That's what's up. That's so, what's up. So out of the total amount, Big B, you just gave us a number of 160. Was that 169 million? Yes, sir. 169 million. Confirmed that means cases. Confirmed cases. Yes, totally sir. recovered 150 million. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, so that's encouraging, man. That's encouraging so for that, someone. You know what? That, that's the kind of thing that, that helps <clears throat> keep us healthy. You Do know? you know what? You know what's interesting? I, you know what? We know when I told you that in America, you're not hearing these numbers here. 
you see how you have on the website. If you're listening for the very first time, we're looking at what's called encove 2019.live. That's yes. a website that has a all the epi epidemiology reports go yes. into one location, and therefore the data is being retrieved every 10, 15, 20 minutes. You're so right. that means you're, this is the latest that you're going to get. Now, you know what? You know, in America, you're not getting this this layout that you see. If you go to that website, you'll see this this layout in most of the TV stations, you, you know, even like the CNN, the NBC, CBS, ABC. But you missed the one part about the total recovery, right? You missed the total recovered, right? Yep. Yep. But, but when you go overseas, if you go over, if you look at the news from other parts of the world, if you look at the news, the uh, mute yourself, y'all, mute yourself. Thank you, Shane. If you if you are looking at the news from other parts of the world, I was watching news in another country, which was India, by exact. And guess what? They were showing that number. Uh -huh. They were showing how many. They're trying to encourage their people that yo, we, we got to get better. Come on, let's get better. And that they actually have a recovery. They show the number, Big B. They uh -huh. actually put the number uh -huh. now in. Now that's there. what's up. See. See, we got to have <clears throat> the psyche in the mind has a lot to do with your ability for you to get well. Yes, and so if true. you're not thinking that you're doing well, it sort of takes the, the energy out of the whole situation for you mm. to start the healing process. That's right, my friend. So Amen. that means also with anything, you got to get your mind right before you can even say, you got to make up your mind and say, you know what? I'm about to beat this thing. I'm going to beat this thing, whatever it is, diabetes, high blood pressure. Issues going on with cancer, anything going on with your life, you got to make up your mind first and then throw all your energy to it. That's the key. So it's interesting that, you know, when you see it around the world, you're going to get a different number than you do here in the U.S. All right. All right. We're going to start off this evening. And if you are listening again for the very first time, we're going to uh, open up the questions. And if you have a question, you can go right down to your bottom where it says reaction to your screen. And there you, you can click on raise up your hand and we'll try to get to your question if you have one. If you are calling in. See my hand, everybody? That's what it looks you, like. Yes, absolutely. If you are calling and uh, on the phone, just let us know and we'll try to get you in. Okay. And also, uh, if you have anything, if you don't want to either get online to talk or you don't want to get on uh, the phone, you can also put in the chat box. And Big B over there yes, will yes. pull that out of there and he'll ask that question and he'll throw it to the floor. All right. Exactly okay. Right. All right, so we're going to get started as I let more folks come on in. Come and on while you're in the process of letting people in, let me remind you guys that everything that we try and talk about here, as people put the questions in, I try and put them in the chat box. Why? So that at the end of the night, we can retrieve all that information and have it ready for you. And mm -hmm. then guess what? Be able to put it out to you so that you can have it. Send an invite. So that I have a question to mechavideo at gmail.com. That's mechavideo at gmail.com. Our prophet has already put the information there, but if not, I'll put it in again so that when it's all over, you will have access to all of the questions and, and and when you get a chance to take a look at the video it puts it all together all right all right there Big we go B. there we go sounds good sounds good all right the first one on my list right here i got carom carom how you doing my brother that, that, oh i am well how are you doing <laughs> all right all right <laughs> yeah that's the carom spy over there you good <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we got you buddy we got oh, you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, good evening. Um, well, you hash, we, you hash you know, last week we talked about the um, the inversion table and all. Yes, yes. yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, we hear you. Fine. You're, you're you're hashing a little oh, bit. Okay, last week we talked about the inversion table and all. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why I asked. Yes. Let me see. Last week we talked about the inversion table and all a little bit. Uh -huh. Right, right. For the back. Right. Yes. And I just and I just wanted to mention because I was thinking afterwards too. And another important thing for the back, which you can elaborate if you so choose, uh, it makes a difference with your uh, mattress. And it's recommended you change your mattress uh, and box spring every eight years or so, but because the technology changes. So if you have mm -hmm. any knowledge on that, want to speak on that. Um, yes, absolutely. I know I went through that and you change that mattress and get up-to-date mattress make a big difference. 
Uh, that's the comment, and then I have a question. So do you want me to just continue on, or you want to address that first? Yeah, we can talk about that real quickly, because that's a quick response. With the mattress, you should always uh, be in a position, because your weight is always going to you know, <coughs> start to now wear on the mattress, on the weather one side versus the other. You may be a left side, right side, back sleeper, stomach sleeper, whatever the case being, it will start to you know, cause a formation in your bed. So you do have to, every so often, you have to either flip them, if you can flip them, or you can spin them. Some of them have the memory foam on top and you can't flip them, so you got to spin them. And that's what you want to do. You have to do that so it can keep its balance. It's long, you know what it's like? It's like rotating your tires. Oh, man, that's so true. That's so true. You it's know? like exactly. rotating your tires because exactly. some people some people will start to have irritation in their lower back. Usually lower back problems stem from, you know, those that are side sleepers. You'll notice that a lot of people have lower back problem, also side sleepers, because your hip you actually as you're you're laying on the side. Your spine goes like this and it drops at the tailbone. So at the mm -hmm. tailbone, that's why we talk about putting the pillow between the legs. That's what the, you know, the lumbar pillows are for right. to raise the hip up so that you're not pressing on that lower lumbar part of the spine. Makes a big difference if you've been having sciatic issues like sciatic nerve issues down the legs, issues with numbness in the feet, things like that. So, yes, absolutely, Karen, you're absolutely spot on. Okay. okay, now the second matter briefly is uh, a few weeks ago, you had us uh, doing the tap exercises on the lymphatics. And I just got a new item today. This, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, massage gun? Yes, yes. And my question is, is this good for the exercise we were doing for the people that don't exercise? They could use this to tap those lymphatics. And then okay. also, would a massage chair help in the, uh, uh, as well in the back, or is the lymphatics only in the front? Okay, now there is something that you know I I, I just experienced this recently with a specific um, client. Okay, those massage guns are good when you're working out. Okay, but remember, anything that starts to, you know, that starts to penetrate the, the bicep or the back or the, or the muscles or anything, it's going to start to move that lymphatic system. Now, they remind me of what we there, did when I was little. Yeah, so you want me to move forward? <laughs> okay, y'all got to mute you yourself. Mute yourself. Mute yourself. Mute, mute yourself. Mute yourself. Thank mute you. Yourself. There you go. Okay, so when you have those guns, you got to be careful because if you have a lymphatic blockage issue, Point one, a gentleman had, um, he was working out and stuff, and then he started using that after his workouts, and he used it on his leg, but he was always having problems with circulation in his lower leg, right? His leg blew up incredibly huge. Wow. Wow. From using that gun. <clears throat> now, what was it? It was that you could, he could not release the lymph that was building up. And the more he used the gun, all of a sudden his leg just grew up. It just got huge. That's wow. because he had a lymphatic blockage. You know, you can have this thing called lymphatitis. Lymphatitis is when you have, remember, the lymphatic system is both for taking all the bacteria, the virus, the fungus, parasites, you know, anything like any, any colds, infections, anything, and it puts it into the lymphatic system to move it out. That's the sewer system of the body, right? Mm -hmm. But in this case, it can infect some of the lymph nodes, and then if they do, they start to swell. So now nothing can move around. So he had a lymph... He had a lymph infection, lymphatitis, that actually blocked. So when more he pushed on that device to move, the more lymph that started to drain right into that leg to the point where they had to take him to the doctor. They had to take mm -hmm. him to the, you know, mm -hmm. to, the, to emergency almost to get that stuff out of him. So be careful when you're using that. I would say when you do a lymphatic uh, detox this is the best and quickest thing you can do right here. Yes. You got it? Before you start using those guns, you need to start doing this. 
You know, the tapping starts at the head. Everybody do this. Everybody do this. Tap your head. Anybody home? No. <laughs> Ooh, I'm right here. I'm out. Tap, tap, <laughs> tap, tap, all the way around. Got it to the back of the head. Tap the temples, right? So you're activating and breathing. Good, good. Come on down to the chin. Good. That's where your chin. See, that moves right out of here. If you open up your collar right here, your lymph nodes are right here to the left and the right. Got it? So what you do is you pump them. That's called pumping. Before you use any of those devices, I would suggest that you use this method of just sort of warming up to get the lymphatic system moved. This is opening what we call pumping, okay, right under the neck. Then you tap, tap, tap. Come on down to the middle. This is K29. This right here is the kidneys. This is the pressure point for the kidneys. Breathe. Good. Come right here. This is the thymus right here. Tap, 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 right in the middle of the chest. Got it. Then when you take the hands, let's go all the way up the arms. Got it. Hands, come on back. Flip it on the inside. Flip the hand over. Now it's a, it's a raised hand. Got it. Good. Then you do the same on the other side. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the inside. Got it. Then when you come under here, under the arm, under the armpit. This is where we talk about, you know, when women have been told that they have um, breast lumps, you know, the lumps. And they say, well, we're going to have to go in <clears throat> and do a biopsy. Don't do the biopsy yet. Most of the cases when they say they find lumps, that lump is really blocked lymph that can't get out. It's trying mm -hmm. to get out of here. Mm -hmm. So you have these primary nodes, primary nodes here under the chin, under the neck area, a pair under the armpits, and a pair in the groin. Got mm -hmm. it? Now, what are the nodes versus the vessels? The vessels are what are all over the body, and that's where the body and the bloodstream dumps it into. It's almost like the trash can, right? Right, exactly. And then when it moves it, it circulates and recirculates, where we, sort of like a recirculation process goes through the lymphatic system, goes mm -hmm. through the spleen. You remember we talk about the overflow system? Yes, of the yes, spleen yes, yes. And the tonsils and the appendix moves through this thing and actually says, you know what? I want to make sure I don't miss nothing. So I'm going to make sure by looking to make sure I didn't miss the, some uh, iron, some potassium, some magnesium or something. And I'm going to really look in there. And before I get rid of this, I'm going to look at it one more time. So it recirculates mm -hmm. as it recirculates. When it gets rid of it, it starts to say, now push it out of the system. And when it comes out of your stool, it looks like a mucus pad. Uh -huh. uh, it looks like a mucus pad. So if you're going to the bathroom and you start seeing a mucus looking pad, that's lymph. Now, lymph only moves when you move, though. So you got uh -huh. to get it moving. There's only these little muscles that overlap not like the first system there is not a pump they don't it does not have a pump not like your heart which pumps the arteries and veins this one doesn't have a pump it only has muscles that overlap and they twitch but they only move when you move that's why right. you got to move you got to exercise got it you got to move the system if you're not moving the system and you're not exercising you're not moving this the what the sweat glands to yes. get this stuff out of you that's why people are backing up when they talk about covid and those susceptible to covid it's because they're backing up got it already blocked systems first signs of that swelling ankles Swelling knees, thighs, mm -hmm. areas of the mm -hmm. armpits, under yes, the armpits, yes, yes. boils under the arm. Got it? Outbreaks and rashes. Because once the body can't get rid of it from the lymphatic system, which I just mentioned as that process, body says, send it to the surface of the skin. And then you break it out. And they say, what is going on? I'm itching all over. Oh, what's going on? Lymphatic system. I'm seeing a lot of people mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So, Karen, mm -hmm. be careful with those machines. I would tap down before I use anything. Got it? Just to make sure that there's you're loosening up the areas. And people who are not fully doing full exercise can have stagnation in certain areas, especially there if you're clogged up. Be careful, okay?
Oh, okay. Okay, will do. Thank you very much. Dr. Appreciate Paul, it. Thank can you. Can I add to that? Please. Yes, who is that? Statement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great problem. Uh, yes. Yes, those machines, it should tell you that packet should tell you that those are for trigger points. And, right. Right. If, if if that package didn't tell you that that's for trigger points and you don't know where your trigger points are, you're going to do no, more damage to more your damage. Yes, you can. You then, can do very much damage because yeah, you can help. open up. You can cause issues with and a lot of people, even though, you know, you really don't know trigger points can change all the time. That's true. You know, so you got to be careful. You know, I don't like that. You know, that quick fix stuff. You got to be careful, y'all. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. All right, Karen. All thank you, brother. Appreciate you. All right, who do we have here now? Let's see here. All right, thank you. I have a sure, no problem. We have Helen. Helen? Oh, Helen. How are you doing, Dr. Paul? How hey. are you, Bill? How's hey, everyone? Helen, how are you? How are you doing good, right. doing good. How are you doing? Great, thank you. Yeah, so I just have a couple of questions. Um, the first one is in regards to um, naturopathic medicines and um, during the time of... Um, the healthcare um, centers and hospitalization. Where would you say um, anyone who's doing, you know, this uh, holistic approach, if they wanted to go to uh, health centers to be seen? Because if you go to the regular um, hospitals, um, you're going to be treated with the uh, certain types of medicines that they have, um, mm -hmm. aside versus to what. Um, natural um pathic doctors mm -hmm. so it's sort of like a conflict between both systems so mm -hmm. that's why i'm saying because if one was to be, become a new beginner and they decide to become um into the holistic approach and they start you know getting a more healthier sense of life um and then they end <laughs> up going to the regular hospital you know what i mean it's like you're going to be well, ended up well, you yeah, know. you you got you got different worlds of philosophy. You know, right. I don't know if you remember. I did a breakdown of the philosophies. You remember, this is different worlds of philosophy that we're talking about. You know, right. the methods of Western European medicine is basically allopathic, a l l o p a t h y, allopathy, mm -hmm. which goes against the body. The concept goes against treating the symptoms, right. not uh, the uh, correct correcting the problem. Right. That's what makes money. That's what that simply is. Don't heal nobody. Don't get nobody right. Just keep it moving. You got it? So that's why we they treat the symptoms, not the problem. Allopathic also is a process of faking or lying to the body. So don't mm -hmm. so that's why we have to now say, you know, how are you looking at this when you push the put give the body they're trying to stimulate the system to do something. You got it. That's what a flu shot. That's what the vaccines are. It's stimulating the immune system to do something. But wait a minute. Why would you do that? You don't want to stimulate the system to do that. That means you're putting poison in the system, mm -hmm. trying to fake the body out to think that it's sick so that your body can now raise its immune system. That's backwards. You got it. That's why our approach is the natural holistic way, which is majority, which is the entire planet, by the way of every culture in the world and is about feeding the body. You feed the body and the body corrects itself 11 times faster. You got mm -hmm. it? So you're okay. looking at a philosophical concept. So naturopathy is nature's path, nature's way. That's why what we do goes with the body. You got it? Then you have homeopathy, not to be confused with naturopathy. Homeopathy <laughs> means that like knows like, takes one to know one. That's mm -hmm. like fire, Fight fire with fire. That means that it takes one to know one, but also that means if you got bit by a snake, they're going to find that snake and, and take the venom from that snake to make the antidote. So that means homeopathy is a little poison in the remedy also. Got it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why when we look at these three different methods of medicine, the oldest of all of it is naturopathy. You got it? But again, so, but then where would they go? Like, like, let's say that I was, I decide I want to go the naturopathic approach. Then, the hospital is there a hospital available to anyone who wants to go see um, doctors who are naturopathics? Well, remember, naturopathy is preventative. We prevent okay. you from getting to that point. You got it. 
Okay. So if you're past that point, now you have to go into the emergency. Remember, emergence means what? Only one thing can emerge, and that's a yeah. child. So you got to treat it like a like a baby is being born. That's an emergency. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. So there is no naturopathic hospital here in America, but they are in other parts of the world. You got it? So places like, uh, you know, that there's... For example, when I was a part of the United Nations, uh, there was an organization before I be got started my own organization. I was a secretary general for an organization called Global 2000 2010. It was this organization that said, all we want you to do is just go and represent because yeah. they don't want any allopathic doctors on the floor to represent them. They only want because the people said we don't want them in our villages. We don't want them in our in our places. We only want people that have godly concepts so yeah mm. it's never going to happen here in america but they are in other parts of the world ghana has them you have places in all the west coast down to ivory coast all the way down to south africa even the east side of africa there's plenty of places that are hospitals that are feeding people the food the moringa is actually one of their remedies for health that's what when they wanted to get uh matter of fact you can go right on uh youtube and look up what's called the uh, moringa study which actually doctors actually gave their patients in the mothers moringa aloe vera and it actually helped them to lactate and the babies with the big stomachs to you know kill parasites in about three months children clean right on up but do you get that information here you're not going to get it you got it Right. Because, you know, European. if anything were to happen, you got to go directly to the regular hospitals and then you're going to be dealing with the anesthesias and the regular medicine. Yeah, you're going to so deal with that saying? system. So that's why we're exactly. the message that we do is to can. preventative to that you never get into that situation. You but gotta, then you still got to go in there for testings and all of this kind of stuff, you know. Right. Now, right. testing is not bad. See, they're good at testing. We're not saying never deal with them. The problem yeah. is that allopaths is the approach after the diagnosis. That's the problem. That's the mm -hmm. medication. You know, when you're talking about 300,000 people died in one year yeah. taking medication that they didn't even need, 700,000 people died a year mm -hmm. from, from taking uh, from a procedure. That's a million people. Come on, y'all, mute yourself, mute yourself, mute yourself. That's a million people. What industry can you can you mention that can get away with, you know, the death of a million people and not be accountable? Huh. Amen. That would be your allopathic industry. You got mm -hmm. it. So that's why we're trying to. Our message is to, as naturopaths, as holistic people of the planet, we want to feed the body, help the body correct itself. You know, and that's and why we. I'm sorry. My mm -hmm. next question is in regards to like health plans and so forth, because I noticed like the particular plan that I have, the carriers don't cover um, yeah. naturopathic um, doctors or if I, you know, come see you, I have to pay, you know, an out of pocket mm -hmm. expense. That's right. That's right. So yeah. are you like in network, out network or what? No, actually, um, we are. I am recognized. I have a the the, the, the I have the NCI number. I have all that stuff. I have all that, but remember, because they are dealing with pharmaceutical drugs and we don't deal we with go. drugs, that's the go. key. Got it? We're not in the system because we don't deal with drugs. That's it. We deal with holistic ways of keeping people by food. Got it? So when you're talking about dealing with, you know, going to a doctor that's in the system versus out of the system, you should have the right, if you're paying taxes, to choose your source of Amen. treatment. Amen. There you go. Shouldn't you? That's right. Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you have the way to say, hey, I want to do something alternative? That's when the chiropractors tried to do the same thing. The chiropractors, they were pulling them out of there for the whole purpose of saying, hey, y'all can't come in here because y'all messing up our money. But the chiropractors were saying, you don't need a surgery. You just need an adjustment. Click, 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 click. And then they're back in order. Then they say, wait a minute, I didn't need a surgery? No. Better get that guy out of here. There you go. Amen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got to get that guy out of here. Mm -hmm. But they fought, they fought and fought, and finally they have a level of uh, where you can 
you now use treatment because it tied into accidents. You know, I truly believe they had to recognize them because when people started having accidents and then they had to go through therapy and also the rehabilitation, they had to acknowledge it some way whether this person is getting well or not. Well, you got to go to the chiropractor. So that's what they opened the door for them. So, yeah, there's a disparity. There's a strong disparity. It's always been there and it will always be because you got the greed people versus those people who just really want to get well. Mm -hmm. So if I were to like for a health plan system, like what would I say that, you know, it would come under like, um, for example, like Horizon. It, it They don't even cover um, like for this type of um, holistic you no, know. you would have to come out your pocket. That's why it's, it's you know, you come into a system and, and take a look at this. A lot of the doctors are now coming out of the system. They're not dealing with Medicare and Medicaid no more. They're, they're putting together what's called primary care units. That mm. means that the primary care units means the doctors are saying we're tired of Medicare and Medicaid, you know, because when people come in, even with their insurance, it takes them forever to get paid. Paid, yes. Got it? Takes them forever. That's why doctors are like, say, I can't survive like this. Even they are putting together and saying, we're going to go the same route as the natural past that I'm doing because they got basically, we'll set up a network where we'll be like a, like a LA fitness. We're going to have all our doctors. We're going to have five or six doctors in the network. And then it's five or six doctors in the network. We're going to set up with LabCorp, all the testing agencies, all the research. And then we're going to bring in our own clientele. And in that pot, you gotta you sort of you gotta bid to get into that circle as a mm-hmm. patient, but they're gonna keep that circle and they can make more consistent funding. You got it to keep it going. Mm-hmm. So that's almost like a membership. They're doing like a membership. So it's like you pay X amount of dollars for a whole family, and then the whole family comes in under, and people are going with this like, hey, I don't need to go back into the medical system. Uh, yeah, no, that's right. You got mm-hmm. me? So so there's a lot of things that are happening because people, number one, are not being suffice. You're taking medication for 20 and 30 years, and you're not getting well. So what is the what, what are we doing here? What am I just, I'm just singing in this same circle, and right. people are not people are not getting well but when they Mm -hmm. go the natural approach and if you teach them how to do spirit mind and body people Mm -hmm. start to see evidence-based information like wow this person had diabetes now they don't have it oh man now they had high blood pressure the stories are incredible so Mm -hmm. yes it is a disparity yes it is philosophical it's philosophical but you need to make some changes yeah definitely make changes in america absolutely america's for health you know, Absolutely. Like, so thank you so much, Dr. Paul. Thank you so much. Good so question, Dr. Paul, Ellen. Real quick question. So, so yes. is there then a, a, a consortium of sorts that would give us as consumers a way to join with you in requesting this kind of thing to sort of help build you guys up? Well, that's what we're doing. We're doing a, you know, um, and, and this is one thing that, you know, we've been talking about on my side a long mm-hmm. time because putting together the network just before the COVID yes. hit. We were talking about putting that same primary care unit, but it was going to be for a holistic concept. So that's where people would like yourself say, you know what, long as I have in, I'm in this circle, you know, you would be able to get everything you need. So whether it was natural, holistic, you can get exercise, you can get therapy, you can do a chiropractor, acupuncture, whatever. Mm -hmm. We would put it all in one network. Would y'all want to be a part of something like that? Man, please. Come on now. I know that's right. (laughs) And then then basically, if you have to outsource, we would have those that outsource. I got approached by a major uh, organization right here in Philadelphia. They came to me and they said, Doc, we, I ain't going to say their name. (laughs) We can't go, but they're big. They're really big. They said, they said, we, uh, we, we want to partner up with you. So I said, no problem. Let's do it. You know, but then they got down the line. They started saying that, you know, you already have a lot of our, we have the same customers or, you know, Mm -hmm. same patients. I said, oh, really? Here we go. That's how we got to you. (laughs) And that, you know, when they come to us, they talk about herbs and stuff and we don't know how to respond to it because nobody knows nothing about the herbs. 
brothers over here. Okay. So I said, oh, well, that'll be great. Let's work together. But they got behind the scenes, started talking, and after a while they said, nah, no go. Because after a while, everybody going to be coming on this way. And I said, they said it's a conflict of interest. I said, it's not a conflict of interest. I don't want your folks. Keep your folks over there. I just want to be able to tell them where they can go to keep their balance. And then when they put them on a plan, they can still keep you as a doctor. But they thought it was a conflict of interest. So that's why naturopathy is the philosophical, y'all. It's the, that's the philosophical. The philosophical approach of it is is going to always be a problem because people want to approach the medicine the way they want to do, and that should be your choice. That should be your choice. You know, if someone says that this is the only thing you can do and there's no more hope, you shouldn't have to bank on that. You know, I can tell you many stories where people were told, "Oh, yeah, well." You got X amount of time to live or you can't do this. And they close the door and, and they said it's hopeless. And then guess what? They come on our side and we get them right. You mm -hmm. got it? So, so it can happen. You, you know what comes to mind? What about maybe doing a visual commentary for a news outlet? Take it mm -hmm. straight to the media. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, and look, all, listen, Dr. Paul, nothing beats yes. a try but a what? Another yes. try. Yes, yes, <laughs> I don't absolutely. use that other word. Nothing I but, think... but another try. Because I think, you know, there are, to me, <clears throat> I think there are probably millions of people out here who are thinking about what we're talking about here tonight. However, just like us, don't know where to go. Yeah, absolutely. That's why, you know, I try to make myself available with everyone as far as public, as far as the radio show, this show, right, exactly. things like that, to let people know that, you know, there's other methods and other ways of doing it. But also to understand that you're not going to be ever accepted by the mainstream. Amen. You know, so you know it, it's never going to happen because it's a money thing. It's not about us. It's about the philosophy of what we do. We talk mm -hmm. about stuff that comes out the ground. We're talking about literally. Yeah. Food, you know, you can't patent, uh, you know, something that grows out of the ground, you know, but you can patent a new medication or vaccines and all this other stuff. So that's where the that's where the controversy starts. Okay, coming. just wanted to be sure because I know all right. you can see some of the, some of the faces and, and folk are saying, "Well, I don't know how 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 will we go about doing stuff like that?" And I think there's a real concern, and someone online there's got to be a way to you know what I'm gonna look, watch. I'm gonna figure out something. The, hey, the I think that see, let me tell you, man, the best way the the greatest way of promoting anything is a testimony amen so very true that's it so very true you know when you see someone has gone through what they've gone through and they started to change their ways and go back to the remember what we do on our side is cultural it's the culture that has built the foundations of the planet yes so we're yes. not breaking rules we're not guessing they're guessing we're not guessing we go towards the solution of the problem by feeding the body to correct the real issue Okay. And what's going on? Godly principles, y'all. Y'all hear that? Godly principles. That's right. And that's what you what's know, up. the world don't want God's principles. You know, well, they don't want to do God's I, thing. I, I you know, know that's they right. rejected him, you know, and his ways. Took it out of the school and everything. Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> All right. We got, uh, who we got on the line? We got, uh, is that Troy over there? Troy? What's sir, up, Troy? Yes, sir. How you doing, buddy? All right, man. Doing well, buddy. How you been? Excited because about less than th four weeks I'll be coming to your facility for the uh, the um, evaluation for myself and my wife. So I'm pretty excited about that. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Looking forward to see you. Uh, question I had is this oil pulling. Uh, we started this about uh, a few weeks ago. Me, myself, and my wife, and she's known some results from it already. My question is, how long are we supposed to do it? Well, um, you know, the desired results is what we always look for. You know, when you're doing oil pulling, uh, you got to what, what are some of the, res the results that she's seeing? If you want, if you'd like to share uh, her, she has sinus problems. A lot of her mucous membranes are starting to drain already. And like I there said, it's go. only been like a week and a half or so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, See, but yeah. Yeah, you can you can all pull as long as it's working for you. I got people that have been pulling for years and they do it every day. You do it every day, just like brushing your teeth, you know. <laughs> you oh, know? so it's safe to do that? Just absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You know, some people wake up in the morning and they brush their teeth. They do all the things they do normally, get in the shower and they start oil pulling in the shower. 
Look out, yeah, that's look, I guess, look, look out, look yeah, out now. Yeah, that's where yeah. it is, guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all pull in the shower. So there's, you know, do it. It's food. You can't overdose on it, <laughs> you know. So I would say just keep it going. Keep it going as much as it's doing. You you always are going to need to remove that mucus. And oil pulling, what, what kind of oil are you using? You using the sesame oil? Yes. Yes, excellent, excellent. Sesame oil is the queen. That is the queen, y'all. The queen of oils. That's the one that kills staph and streptococcus bacteria on contact. Whoo, that's mean. Makes the teeth white. Look out now. Makes the teeth pearly. You got the pearls, pearly whites. Wow. Yes, there you go. Some of y'all saying, y'all writing that down now. Oh, you should have started, started off with that one. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yes. So so definitely, Troy, I would say continue to do it as long as it's, it's working for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, hey, guys, just remember that safe phrase. It's just food. It's just food. It's just food, y'all. Now, if you can't eat <laughs> nothing food, exactly like now, that, if you can't eat food, food, or they say you can't eat food, we in trouble. We all in trouble after that. Well, <laughs> as one say, it's a man a mel of a hess, boy. If you don't have, if you can't do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Troy. You Thank ahead, you, Troy. brother. Thanks, Appreciate brother. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Who we got up there? We got uh, that Stacy. Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Hello, hey, how hey. are you? Hey, right. what's up, y'all? We doing fine. Hanging in there. That's All right. absolutely fine. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I had started taking the chaparral. Mm hmm And um, so like the odor was gone, like in three weeks. Wow. So I know that you talking about around. this. So just help those who uh just if they're tuning in for the very first time. <laughs> tell them what was going on. You got to set it up, okay? okay you talking so about I, the talking about your right side, right? Correct. Okay, go ahead. Talk tell them about that. Correct. Okay, so I was um had started to water everything I was doing was water and everything exercise so my left side I started going to the gym and my left side was getting smaller quicker than my right side. And then also on the right side, my mm, underarm pit just had this nice little smell there, but not <laughs> okay. the left side. So I switched from mm -hmm. the burdock to the chaparral, which is bitter. It just reminds you of like mustard greens, mm. real strong. Mm -hmm. And um, But the odor has subsided. Now it's taken mm. a while for the balance on my right side. So I just had to up some reps in the gym. Mm -hmm. For that, mm -hmm. um, so um, and I did start taking the comfrey as well. Mm. Um, okay, as okay. well. So yeah. it's like I guess with the liver. So is it all because I um I know that you said you just do cleanses like every season and you do it for a period of time and stop. Is that right? That is correct. Every change of season. So beginning of every summer, winter, spring, fall, you want to do something. And okay. that means that, you know, just as long as you stay in some kind of rhythm, that's really what you're right. trying to do. You okay. know, um, you know, really, we we are bombarded in this industrialization of all the pollutants and things that are around us. You know, they said the number one place where is the most toxic place on the planet. Do y'all know where that is? What's the most mm. toxic place? Uh, you mean in... like a city or something? <laughs> think about it. Just, it. I want y'all to think that? about this. Yeah, yeah mouth. What is, yeah. She said your <laughs> mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Shut your mouth. <laughs> go ahead, Diane. I heard that. Wow. <laughs> all right. All right. No, not yeah, quite your mouth, but I'm sure there's some the that need cleaning there too. But uh, <laughs> no, not the, the mouth. Bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. Actually, phone. they said than the most toxic place on the planet right now planet, planet. on the planet is a brand new home. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know what? I can see that because oh, all the stuff and the old is new... left over from all the things that just put in there. Yes. All of the new wow. chemicals and things that they have, wow. the, the paint, the glue, the flooring, all of that stuff. I had one uh, client that said, you know what, they had a brand new home and they had to literally, uh, you know, they literally went down to visit their relative or actually a relative had a brand new home, went down to the house and had to leave. 
because yeah. the fumes were so bad that they, they got dizzy and started feeling faint. They couldn't stay in there, couldn't sleep mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, yes, it's a lot of toxicity all around us. So that means that you got to do things like oil pulling. You got to do these detoxes like the colon cleanse and the parasite cleanse and just keep it moving. You know, also the profession that has the uh, highest death rate of blood poisoning. Think about that. The highest profession of blood poisoning. What do you think that would be? Highest profession of blood poison. The dentist. Hmm? The dentist. I am a dentist. A painter. Mm-mm. This stuff. Mm-hmm. Not a sanitation right. worker. A gynecologist. No. <laughs> 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 Y'all need to stop. I'm going to get you. That's what I'm <laughs> 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 A gynecologist. You, you done made everybody blush on here. Yeah, get everybody get a shot. <laughs> what okay. about those shaders? Let me, let me, let me, let me, yeah, let, just me tell let me stop it first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the number one profession that has the most blood poisoning is firefighters. Wow. 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 Nice. Firefighters. Now ask me why. Why would you think wow. that firefighters? Oh, the so they ingest. Because all of that building. chemicals from those new yes. homes. Yeah. You know, all those new yeah. homes gets into a you know atmosphere, lands on the skin. Anything touches your skin is in your bloodstream 28 seconds. 28 seconds. Wow. 28 seconds. It's in your bloodstream. And that's where they're finding all the. You remember all those responded from the nine one one that that yes, whole yes nine eleven yes nine eleven remember that whole that whole that whole engine company all of them died yes oh, they wow. all had soot all over them yeah, yeah. from all the yeah. chemicals in the it, was it goes right into the blood they all had some kind of lymphoma some kind of blood poisoning leukemia lupus. Uh, multiple myeloma, all of that stuff was poisoning the blood. Yeah. Mm. So, okay, so what does um, that mean? So that means you have to continuously clean the blood. COVID-19, this whole thing about COVID is not a lung issue. It is a blood issue. There you, you go. Got it? You got oh. to clean the blood. Mm. You know, old folks back in the day used to always say that. You got any problem. Yeah, anything buddy. something that's crazy and you say i don't know what it is they don't know what it is and nobody knows what it's clean your blood that's the first thing oh, that's boy. why so many of these herbs are blood cleansers there's one that grows so crazy just to remind you who god is Damn. right up in your <laughs> right up in in your yard <laughs> He's up. Right dandelion. Dandelion. that's Dandy. that dandelion Dandy. Dandy. and y'all yeah. said that's dandelion yeah. <laughs> ripping it up he get them that on dandelion, nasty weeds out the that, yard that dandelion <laughs> saying i'm trying to keep you out that's it <laughs> you got me I had this woman, uh, I had a brother that was a good friend of mine, naturopath. He says, you know, I, I gave that story one time, and I tell that story once in a while. About the brother, he said he had a, had a, had a patient that was uh, saying that, you know, she was having liver problems. So he says, you know, she calls him up and says, you know, you're going to have to come see about me. I've, I've, I've actually to the point where my liver is failing, and I cannot even get out anymore. I'm home. I'm at home and I can't come out anymore. So I can't even come visit you. Can you come see about me? So she lives come outside. See of the about city. Me. He said, yes, he sees. She lives outside the city. So he says, sure, I'll come and see you. So she's got liver issues or liver cancer or something that was basically where her liver shutting down. So he's coming up to her house. As he comes up to her house, and he comes in and he stops here for a second and says, whoa. Oh. He looks around her house and he's like, wow. So he goes up to the door. He knocks on the door. They let him in. He goes into the room where she's laying in the bed. And she says, she says, thank you for coming to see me. I hope you got some herbs for me. You know, something that can help me. He says, my sister, your healing is all around your house. Right there. (laughs) Surrounded by dandelions all around her house. And here she in there, sitting in there, almost terminally ill. Mm. 
Wow. Okay. What does that mean? That means that we lack knowledge. You know, my children yeah. shall perish for lack of lack knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Yeah, we did. You got That's it. What he says. Usually, your your breakthrough is always very close to you, right in front of you. As God may have His way, is mm -hmm. right next to you. Sometimes yes. it's right around you. Somebody in your circle. Stop going outside of the family. I keep telling y'all, wow. it's the family tree. Wow, stay no. close to the tree. <laughs> Something around you is wow. where your your blessing is. Yeah, That's where your healing it. is. Yes, sir. That's where your breakthrough is. It's gonna come through somebody very close to you. you got it? Okay. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Doctor? Hey, um, what's so interesting? Sometimes you know what somebody you may not even like may have your answer right there. All you gotta do is yeah. listen. And you still yeah, mad I'm at a them. Good listener. You still mad at them for what happened back in 1922. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right, Stacey, I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. So um, so it's okay to just keep taking the chaparral. I mean, how do well, you know? yeah, you gotta keep the you know what? When you take chaparral, remember the lymphatic system is gonna move. That's what okay. moves the lymphatic system. So what you're seeing is good results. I would definitely tap down. I would tap down. You know, okay. every day, every morning, everybody should tap down. Just tap yourself all, all over. Right. Yeah, you know yeah. that they're using this tap method in schools, and they're showing that children that do the tap down method, they start to have more uh, children that are more, they're calmer, they're mm -hmm. not fighting as much, and they start to do much better in school. Right. Their attitudes and things Very change. Good. See, you're balancing things off, and it also gives ability for you to sort of just get in touch with yourself there you go now there go outside go. go outside and get in some grass and start Man. tapping down tap down tap <laughs> down tap down all right all right grass right okay. grass yeah okay don't be afraid to touch yourself all right <laughs> well <hallelujah>. okay <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay second it's only going to be two what how do you get sell your life off Mmm, good question. Wow. Good question. Is anything to do with exercising? I am. Okay. And, um, and I know that you would say it's toxic fat that has pushed its way into the system and it's difficult to get rid of. Well, it's not toxic fat. It's just fat. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, let me let me unpack this for you. Okay, so cellulite. What is cellulite? Cellulite. You remember, this is why we say stay away from processed foods. Got yes. it? You want yes. not carbs. You know, when people are saying stay away from carbs, they really mean, you know, processed carbs, not complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates are fruits and vegetables, right? They have the energy. So when someone has been eating a lot of meat, okay, and if you're eating a lot of meat, and you're not getting enough vegetables and that complex carbohydrate, that's what breaks down things like matter. You got it? That's what breaks down meats and things. So when you're breaking that down and when the body says, well, I don't have any more complex carbs to break this down, and I got this meat left over, this excess fat that's left over, what am I going to do with it? Well, stuff it in the flesh. Cellulite. You got it? That's what cellulite is. It's the flesh or the fat that's left over from not being processed because it didn't have enough complex carbo carbohydrates. Now, if that's the case, then how do we get rid of the cellulite? How would you do that? I just gave you the answer. <laughs> I just gave you the answer. Tap, tap. What tap, would you do? Tap, 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 tap. tap, tap. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Okay. You would eat, eat Well, that's what I do. I eat a lot of fruit. You would eat, I eat a lot more. of vegetables. But here's, but here's what you want to do. I listen would do up, something up, better. Listen, I would do better. I would start to do high level of green drinks. Greens. Anything okay. greens. That's what the that's why the green drink, I created the green drink from that was yeah. because so many people are lacking energy. And you take it from the two greatest sources, which is land and sea. You take from the land and sea, you got best, best, best of both worlds. You got the sea moss, the, the kelp, the chlorella, spirulina, and then the other side, you got the uh, alfalfa, the spinach, the turmeric, the astragalus. Oh. All that stuff is earth. So mm -hmm. two earth and sea together, that's it. That's the complex right there. You now, I do everything. take it three times a day. 
Right. Keep that going. Thing. Okay. So keep that going. How many ounces are you using? How many? What are you using? Scoops. Uh huh. How many scoops? Three per and serving. Per, per how many? How much uh, fluid are you? Uh, eight ounces? ounces. I just do water. Make it twelve. Make it twelve ounces. Okay. That's the key. That's well, the difference. Uh, twelve ounces makes oh, a difference. Oh, okay. A little bit more. A little bit more uh, moisture for processing. Okay. Yes. Even though it's on the okay. on my on my can, it says eight ounces. That's like yeah. a yep. sort of layman's term. But really, if you want to get the results, twelve ounces. Try to do twelve ounces. Oh, okay. Know, that's, remember, that's uh, you can use things like no apple problem. Juice, apple juice. You can use uh, grape juice. Make sure it's a hundred percent juice. If you have to right. use juice, got it. Uh, if it's concentrate, just make sure that you mix it fifty fifty. Put the water back in it. So that okay. you can, you know, if it's concentrated, got it? Okay. So you got, uh, you also have pineapple juice, which is excellent for inflammation. Got it? Okay. Tart cherry juice. That's another okay. one that carries well. Uh -huh. uh, stay away from, you remember, y'all know the fine, the, the bad four we talk about all the time, which is what? Pomegranate right. juice. Cranberry. 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 Oh. I, I tell y'all, I don't know what yeah. it is. I, I know the two. It. I can't Some... prove it. But something's going on with this cranberry juice. They trying to make yeah, it. Buddy. Oh, yes. When you like go into the market, bones, man. everything is mixed with cranberry yes. juice. Cranberry yeah, apple, cranberry grape, cranberry kiwi, cranberry strawberry, cranberry. Right. You got everything is mixed with cranberry. Trying to take us out. And I'm saying to myself, this is making people acidic. Mm -hmm. So carrots, remember oh carrots? Remember, no carrots. Okay. No, no orange carrot, right? No orange carrots. You can do okay. purple carrots. All right. Purple carrots. You know, oh. God didn't make the orange carrot. God made the purple carrot. Got it? The orange carrot was made. Oh. The orange carrot was made in Ireland a long time ago. Part of the food trade. They didn't have anything to participate with the food trade, so they created it in paying homage to Queen Anne. So if you look up. Uh, they mixed it with the Queen Anne's Lace and the Wild Yam. If you look up the Queen Anne's Lace, which is an herb, it'll say progenitor of the carrot. Wow. Wow. So the only real, you that purple carrot is the one, and the stem is about this long. It is. Don't, yep. don't, don't throw that stem oh. away, y'all. Yeah, throw I get it. I eat them. Away. Yes. Put Juice that blender. stem. Put that in there, and that'll yep. good. that's good for your pancreas your liver and your kidneys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow thank yeah. you okay all and right then, family real, okay one quick one before mm -hmm. when you said cookware you said to use cast iron yes I have and that. then did you say copper well copper is uh you you they have been using a lot of copper lately you know copper is good for circulation so uh -huh. getting that copper ion is a good thing um the other one would be steel. Yeah. Okay, steel, copper, or cast iron. Those are the best ones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, Stacy. Right. Y'all, right. thank you. Good question, y'all. Y'all got some yeah. good stuff tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Y'all yeah. yeah. making the brother go in tonight. Oh, That's man. it. That's it. They going just, in today. Can I chime in? I'm yes, new. Nancy. Go ahead, Okay, Nancy. Nancy. Go ahead, Nancy. Uh, Stacy is my cousin. Hey. That's hey. my hey. And, um, All right. I have. Well, I was. They told me I had. Have you heard of burning mouth syndrome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's stop there. Wait. Let's stop right there. <laughs> Whenever you hear the word syndrome, got it. You okay. know what that means in allopathic medicine. We have no idea what that is. <laughs> And they don't either. They they have no idea either. That's what, what they call is. that's the key word for I have not a clue what's going on with you. Right. And that's what it is. That's what syndrome <laughs> means. Right. And so they're sending me every I done been to the ear, nose, and throat because I had they said that was TMJ. Mm. That's the the um jawbone. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. and they so so let me tell me what your symptoms are. Tell me okay. what your symptoms are. They, my mouth is burning. Okay, when you say the mouth is burning, what specifically is burning? Is the tongue, the jaw, the line? Name it. It's all in there. 
everything's burning all over here, over here, up here, down here. Oh, you I mean have... on the outside? You're seeing the outside also? Or inside. Or the inside? Inside of my mouth. It's inside. So mm -hmm. I, I can't really eat anything. I make myself eat. But I can't really eat anything because everything is burning. Um, okay. Except for ice cubes. I put, you know, I've been sucking on ice, drinking ice water, mm -hmm. um, ice Okay, juice, let me ask smoothies. you a couple questions. Okay, I'll... stop right there. Stop right there. So okay. ask uh, just a couple questions for you, okay? Um, what type of, when did you start having this, this burning? Well, it started after I had surgery last year in September. I had um, a laminectomy with an infusion, which is my spine was pressing on my sciatic nerves. When you when he started talking about, you were saying about the lumbar pillow. Mm -hmm. that, there and, it is right there. There's the lumbar. Show it to him one more time. Show it to him one more time. That's the lumbar pillow right there, y'all. Goes right between the legs. Yeah. Right. And so after that, my um I started it started with dry mouth. Like my I was just constantly, constantly dry. Okay. So I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. And it just when I ate anything, if I ate a cracker, it just stabbing me. Do you do you have acid reflux? Not that I know of. Okay, digestion, no digestion issues? Well, I had, um, I don't know if uh, ulcerative colitis. It's so Ooh. much going on with Ooh. me. I mean, we could write a book. Yeah, wait a minute, stop right there. What you're experiencing is acid, acidosis. And it could be from stomach acid backing up into your system. It's backing Ooh. up, coming up. So that could be possibly it. Or it could be a side effect from medications. Are you taking any medication? Yes, it was. A, he well, my primary said it w could be coming from. I was taking. I'm diabetic. Could be coming from um, the gabapentin. Okay. So he took me off of that. Mm -hmm. Beginning of this year, he took me off. Okay. Now, question but for you. Just a real quick question for you. You're not splitting pills or anything, right? Breaking them in half. You mean? Yep. No. You ever did that? Never did that, right? Never break any then pills in half, right? No. Okay. So you got to be careful. Remember, that's that's another one right there. That you got to be careful. Don't break pills, y'all. You know, if you break pills, some of them are time release. So the most poisonous, toxic part of the pill is on the inside. So when you cut it, you just opened it up, and if that hits your taste buds, that's toxic. So okay, no. so you're not doing that. Okay, good. No. So, so this is what I would definitely say. What kind of water are you drinking? Um, the smart water. Ooh, that's bad. That's that's dumb water. <laughs> that's dumb water. That's dumb water. Oh, oh, that's that's not that's one of your problems right there. Okay, okay. that's bad water. You got to get off of the anything that's purified, filtered, reverse osmosis, or distilled. Got right. it? Right. That's what I've been so drinking. Water, yeah, but that right there is bad water. Okay. 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 You got to get a spring water bottle at the source. Family, tell her what she should be getting. Geyser. Crystal, crystal geyser. geyser. Get a crystal geyser. Crystal geyser. Crystal geyser. geyser. Crystal geyser. Crystal geyser. Got it. Crystal geyser. Crystal geyser. Crystal geyser. Crystal geyser. That's a, you can do any spring. Yeah, Mountain Valley is good also. That's a good water right there. Mountain so Valley. any water, yep, any water that's spring water bottled at the source. See, what you're doing is when you're drinking that smart water, you're making the acid even <clears throat> act, even you're accelerating it. You got it? You're accelerating it. So if and there it, is, mm -hmm. it's, it's dry, my mouth is dry after I drink it. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be accelerating the acid. You're in a state of acidosis. Absolutely. Burning is a sign of what's called the male principle. That's tear down, destruction. That's why it starts to burn the skin. So you would do something like oil pulling. You know, uh, Brother Troy just talked about oil pulling. I would start oil pulling. Go to my website, drpaulherbs.com, 
and you would go and get what uh, you go to the download section and you would go to what's called oil pulling for detox. Oil pulling for detox. Okay. Oil pulling for detox is actually one of the things that you can use to now start to bring the acid out of the system. You got to be you got to be more alkaline, alkaline based foods. Also download the top 10 toxic foods. Mm -hmm. You got to watch the meats, processed foods, refined sugar, refined salt, refined oils. Stay away from all fermented foods. Any fermentation is going to accelerate that. Got it? Fermented would be what? Apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. uh, sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well... All right. Uh, also, kombucha or kimchi, things like that. Also, watch out for the acid-forming foods. There's a food chart called Acid Alkaline Food Chart. Download that one also. That's three pages that you need to pull right from that page right now. You got it? Dr. And then, Paul. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Dr. Paul. What about the BLK water? The BLK? Uh-huh. You mean the black water that they call? Yeah. Well, it depends on, do you have it with you right now? No, no, I don't have any now. I have to look at the green. Remember, the key word is, you know, if it's purified, filtered, I believe it's purified. reverse osmosis or distilled. Look for those key words. Yeah. That's what tells you exactly what it is. See, remember, it's all about the energy, hydrogen. The body only knows one game, and that's energy. So I'm not interested in what's in the food. I'm interested for the energy in the food. Got it? I'm go. not looking there for the broccoli. I'm looking for the energy in the food. So mm -hmm. if it doesn't have any energy, I can't do nothing with it. That's what the body looks at. So if you purify, filter, reverse, or distill, you pull the hydrogen. You pull the hydrogen. You just pull the charge. You kill the water. Don't even okay. pour that on your plant. You put that on your plant, you're going to die. You'll die. You won't kill your plants. I remember people saying, mm -hmm. oh, I can't drink this water. I'm going to give it to the plants. I said, don't give it to them either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. to You're going to kill your plants. Your plants going to be like, you're killing me over here. No, don't do it. Well, I'm Bring supposed water. to be an oral surgeon also. Mm -hmm. What? An oral surgeon, and they're supposed to scrape my cheek and send this tissue mm. to the lab. Now, now there could be. This is what things that could be. You, you, you. Before you do it, before anything invasive, I would say start to oil pull first. Got it. Okay. Not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent disease. Just food for the soul. Get you some sesame oil. Got it. Sesame oil. All right, and it has to be unrefined. No refined oils. Unrefined. And what you want to do is take about two to three tablespoons and you just squish, just like you would do mouthwash. Yeah, you told me that. Mouth. That's all you got to do. That's it. Okay. And that should start to reduce inflammation in the okay. lungs, in the mouth, in the lips, in the jaw, all of those things. You got some acid in there. Could be also, you know, there's other things that you could have in there. We would have to. Are you in Philadelphia? Yes. Okay, you need to set up an appointment. Come on in, and then we okay. can look at you, okay? I come tomorrow? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why y'all laughing? Why y'all laughing? Don't say it. Don't start <laughs> nothing. Okay, That's because we all know the deal. Um, <laughs> okay? Not, not yeah, quite. Not quite. By appointment not quite. only. Because I'm next. next. <laughs> if you, if you get an appointment said tomorrow, we're going to have never a problem. Said that, Bill. <laughs> I should have never yeah. said that. <laughs> myself up for that one. I'm trying to get in there. And waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. And waiting. Oh so and there, y'all. Y'all well, moving 28, up the list every day. June 28th can't get here soon enough for me. <laughs> I got you. I'm going to move it faster than you can, y'all. Do, Dr. P family is where it's at, boy. They family is where it's at. They're going to get me any way I can get me, boy. They gonna get me. Where, where you going to move? Oh yeah, but now I, I will say this. 
you can always do a consultation now. We can do like I do Zooms. I do uh, one on ones. Usually the Zoom and phone consults happen first thing in the morning. You know, I start that first thing in the morning and I'm doing a lot of that. So if you want to set up a consultation, we can always talk about that. There you can go into deep what's going on. The testing, okay. though, that's where you got to come in. Yeah, you got to. Okay. Come in. Yeah. All right. All right, Nancy. So how do I how do I do the um contact? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's one eight seven seven three Ooh. seven one eight seven seven three seven seven twenty eight fifty four. Okay. And you can ask for Ivy or Mulaney and they will take care of you. And you can also if you want to put yourself also on, you can, you can book in a consultation and that usually we get right to you. But if you want to do an assessment, it's going to be a while down, but just get the first available and then it has to be put on the, this has to be put on the uh, cancellation list. We have a cancellation list that we go up. So it happens. I tell you folks cancel cause stuff comes up and you got to go out of town. So people, yeah. it does shift y'all. I'm telling you stuff. People come in all the time that we're booked like maybe a month, later you know but we get them in it's based okay. on availability based on availability all right okay, okay. Next. oil right. pull oil pull Thank oil pull you. oil pull i think that will help you okay, okay. Yeah. all right Thank you very much. So much. all right so reach out Thank Nancy. You, we don't want dr paul to get beat up so reach out yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm yes. Next. I am next. I, heard I'm that. Well, I, I wouldn't tell anybody if I did get in there. I just, <laughs> you wouldn't tell I, nobody. See, she trying to work me over there. Now. She said, I wouldn't tell nobody. I'm not going to tell it. You know, I won't tell it. They, Nancy, Nancy, uh, you have to. You start getting better. They'll know right away. Uh huh. She's they gonna right. know. They gonna know. <laughs> I'm gonna just All say right. the oil pull. Oil pulling. Oil pull did it. Yes, oil pull. Oh. Oil pull. You might not need to come in. Wow. <laughs> Glory. Well, I'm Glory. Get that to, I yes. can get that tomorrow, right? Do you have yes. a store or? Yeah, you can go to uh, either the herbal stores. Uh, what part of the city are you in? I'm in the um, Stray Mansion section. I'm near City Line. I'm near. I can right. get to wherever. Yeah, you can either go to Wayne dinner. Avenue, Wayne Avenue Health Food Store. You know, support okay. me, brothers. Wayne Avenue Health Food is 5007 Wayne Avenue, or you can go okay. to Pollock Herbs. That's the one. Pollock. Okay, I've been to Pollock. All right, somebody's. Well, guys, you must somebody, be back mute up, somebody. Mute up, guys. Mute up. Okay, yeah, I can go to Pollock Pen Herbs. Yeah. Pen herbs, yes, pen, pen herbs, herbs is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. All righty. Okay, Thank family. You so Thank you so much. Thank all you for right. getting me in trouble, Nancy. All right. Sorry. God bless you all. God bless Thank you now. You. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Big B, you got anybody on the chat there that's chiming in? Or I want to talk to somebody maybe on the phone. Go ahead. Talk to them on the phone. Dr. Paul. Mm-hmm. 825. 825. Okay, yes, I got oh, you. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Providence. Uh, let's see here. Uh, anyone on the phone that uh, wants to chime in, this is the time for taking a call <laughs> on the phone if you have a question or a concern. If not, Big B, uh, grab the uh, chat. Anything in the chat? Anybody have a question in the chat? I'm or if not, right I'm going to go right back now. to... There was one I uh, said, can I add cold and cleanse to my green drink and just take the capsules? Uh, that chases something different. sure yeah you can take yeah if it's uh you can take the capsules some people are capsules some people are you know something they can break it open and put it right in there you know some people don't like the capsules they just don't like the, the, the part of the digestion of the even though they're vegetable base people don't like the capsules so they just right. take, yeah they either just break it open put it right into the green drink yep so we try to say the the colon cleanse. You remember, it's a desired result. Re desired result means that once you eat, soon after you, you eliminate. Got it? So try to get your body to that stage, you know, where soon after you eat, you eliminate. Remember the cycle for digestion, right? You remember that, y'all? I want to go over that one more time. What's the cycle for digestion? When you eat food, when should you start to see an elimination from that food 18, okay. that you 18 ate? 18 to 48 hours. Go ahead now, Stacey. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead Do now. I get an assessment sooner? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good one, though. You, 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 you need to stop, girl. 
<laughs> All right. Hey. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, so 18 to 48 it. hours. Right now, it's just right. to 48 <laughs> hours. So anything before 18 hours, what's that? Um, diarrhea. Diarrhea. You got it. That's right. Taste you on this. And anything mm-hmm. after 48 hours is what? That's constipated. Constipated. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. So you got to realize where you are. So what you're trying to do is <laughs> time yourself. You can time yourself by doing something like, uh, you know, beets. Beet we use beets. Use beet juice. Yep. Or, or beets eat beets. If you eat beets, you can start to see in your stool. When it comes through, if you're looking at 18, you should start to see it between 18 and 48. If you see mm-hmm. it before then, you probably got some bacteria going on or something going on. Something's in the intestines. Remember, diarrhea is the body trying to send extra water to flush out the invader that's in the intestines. That's what the body's thinking. So if it's ba- bacteria, virus, you know, fungus, anything, it's trying to flush it out. Got it? And then if it's, of course, after 48 hours, that's constipation. You're probably seriously dehydrated. Okay. All right, family. All right, let's see. We got up here. Who are we looking at up here? Uh, let's look at who do I have here? Is that uh, D? Is that D? D, yeah. Is that D? Hey, D, how you doing? Good, and you? All right. What's going on? <laughs> That soda look sound good. <laughs> Evelyn, you should have given it to us. We heard. We, oh, it was, was pineapple yeah. juice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was just hoping it wasn't soda. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, D. D. Did she drop off? She's still there. D. She's still there. there. I, we can't hear you. Yeah. I guess you're... all we the program. Yeah, you're hey, fading. Harry. You're going in and out there, D. Are you close to your phone? Oh. Is she on the phone or is she on? Uh... She, I think no, she's yeah, not on the phone. phone. Yeah, some people may be having problems because the weather is really. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's, this that's weather exactly is really right. messing with some of these. The. Uh... Okay, D. Well, we'll I come. Maybe that's why. Does what? Yeah, you're coming in and out, D. Let's come back to you, okay? Oh, try to okay. try to move somewhere yeah. where you can get a better reception. Okay, are you on the phone or are you on your um your computer? Computer. Oh, yeah, you should you should it's, you should be having weather, a problem. It may weather, be yeah. re- maybe weather related. Okay. Yep. All right. Dr. Paul. Okay, so let's we'll come back to you, D. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, let's see who we're going to now. Uh, Dr. Paul, I have a question for you. Uh, Stephen. So, I'll we'll get Stephen. Yeah, I have Dr. Okay, Paul. Okay, real, real quick, Stephen. Mm-hmm. I have some new folks just listening in the background. Can you explain the purpose of that green drink? Mm-hmm. Oh, what does it do for you? What okay, is the, the green drink is the multivitamin. That's the land and the sea. The concept is to put together the greatest of the land the greatest of the ocean, which gives you the maximum nutrients for the entire day, which also means that it keeps the pH balance. See, when you keep the pH balance, that's keeping your voltage right here, right? Most people are going like this all throughout the day. And therefore, they can't get anything correct. The voltage in the body stays right here when you take the green drink. If you start taking the green drink, and many of you may have already experienced this, you start to feel the energy as soon as you take it because that's the hydrogen. The greatest source of hydrogen on the planet is anything green. And you got both worlds right there, land and sea. You got it? So that's why it is the ultimate meal. It's a meal replacement. It is also a meal substitute. Got it. So if there's times if you want to lose weight, it'll also help you to get your gut in order so that your body can digest the food in that it's about to receive. So when okay. people start to lose weight real fast, they'll take it as a preparatory before they eat. About 30 minutes before you eat, take a little green drink. 
Mmm. Mm. Helps you break down the food, especially okay. if you're a meat eater. See, meat doesn't have enzymes, so it needs digestible enzymes to break it down. So instead of taking it from you, which your liver and your pancreas have to make, now you get it from the green drink. Guess what? You got digestible enzymes waiting for that meat to show up. How there, about you that? <laughs> there you go. All right. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Stephen. Good question, though, buddy. Good question. Good question. All right. Let's go up at the top here. Who do we have All right, here? Who Dr. do we Paul, have here? I need my question asked. I'm sorry. I need this question asked. Okay. That's, that? Michelle. That? That's Michelle. That's oh, Michelle, Dr. Michelle. Paul. Hey, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dr. Paul, everyone. How are you, how are you all doing? Just We're fine. doing good. Doing good. That's good. That's good. A uh, quick question. So, um, so I'm 16 weeks pregnant, and I need to know what kind of um, herbs are good for prenatals. Right, right. There is actually a great formula called, write this down, write this down. It's called prenatal factors. Got it? Prenatal factors. Okay. And it's actually it's male and female. They're actually uh, they're female reproductive factors. Okay, that's what gives you all of those things that you know. How long are you again? Uh, how uh, long? 16. 16? Sixteen weeks. Sixteen mm -hmm. weeks. Okay. So yes. So you would use. Uh, are you been? Have you been taking anything at all? What have you been? I've taking? just been eating fruit and um, just vegetables. Well, yeah, and mostly eat, like salads. Yeah, you definitely want some prenatal factors, things like folic acid, things like that. I'm sure you, the red raspberry, things like that will help you in the morning for any morning sickness or things like that. But you need okay. a balance. You need a balance. The green drink is good also. That's what the green drink is, is giving you a balance of all the nutrition that you need. So, you know, you need to be taking like a prenatal. There, if you just type in Google prenatal factors, there's mm -hmm. a lot of formulas that fall into that dynamic because you need specific ones for for folic acid. I'm thinking of immediately because that deals with the brain stem of the baby. Okay, folic okay. acid. Mm -hmm. okay. folic so can acid. I take that by itself or just? Well, I'm just saying in general. I would say definitely check with your um, you know, who who is helping you with this. Did you have someone that's helping you, a dietitian or someone, a naturopath, so, or someone that's working with you, or? So I'm getting. So I'm looking into a doula. So mm -hmm. doula. I mm -hmm. spoke with her already. So mm -hmm. I have an interview with the midwife. Uh, okay. This Friday. Okay, so you're going to have a natural birth then. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good, good. So a modula or a midwife? Uh, so would be I plan to do a home, home birth. Mm -hmm. for a lot of people nervous. are doing, yes, a lot of people are doing <laughs> home births. And also water births. People are doing both. Yeah. Yes. So they're all good. You know, people are really starting to look and saying, why am I spending all this money going there? I'm just going to hire a modula. And there, let me tell you, if you are someone that is interested in making some serious money, medulas are making some serious money, y'all. That may be something, the training for a medulla, which is actually not quite a midwife, not in the midwifery, but they actually are support system. It's like a counselor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone have walks you through the whole process of childbirth. And um, that is something that they're making somewhere in the neighborhood of up to ninety thousand dollars. <laughs> wow! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're making an uh, incredible amount of money. That might not be y'all might want to look into that. <laughs> <laughs> that is something because people are always going to have children, and babies are always going to be born, and that's going to always be something that you know who also is one. Um, did you know who is uh, 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 Erica Badu? Did y'all oh, know that yeah. Erica Badu is a is a medulla? Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. She gives birth to a lot of people's babies. Wow, right there, Erica Badu, yeah. So it's a uh, it's a lot to it. You know, it's a, it's a practice that you can actually start. You know, through training. There are there's a lot of medulla track training that's online, so you can do a lot of that. And, and people need that support. You know, you know, women need that support when they're going through the childbirth process. Okay. Dr. Paul, on that line, do you have to have a medical background? 
Usually you get training with that. Remember, they're not giving, medulas are not doing the birth process. There's this counselors for that, okay? So midwifery goes into the certifications. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where you would, I mean, but it's something that definitely is, is attainable within a, a, a short period of time. You can attain it within, you know, a few years, okay? So it's not something that's very out, you know, out of the box where it takes you years and years. You know, because you, you they put you through the process of training. The greatest training is going to be the actual giving birth. Once you do it, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to get trained properly on how that goes. So um, I would say look into it, ladies. That is something that is incredible. You could be a very, uh, very beneficial and I would say, you know, some things in life are just very satisfying that would be one of them it helps you to say wow i feel like i really participated in this thing called life when you bring somebody into this world it's an amazing process all right okay thank you all right thank you and best wishes to you okay yes all yes, right sir. who do yes, we sir. have we have uh is that lydia is that lydia right yeah that's my cousin Okay, that's your cousin. You got your cousin on there. All right. I did. Is she... Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hi, everybody. Hi, Lydia. I, I want to eat cold cereal for breakfast. And can you see this? Yes. Okay. Okay, now the problem was, of course, it has different types of flakes. It has nuts, it has fruit, but it also has sugar. And I didn't read sugar because it was so, it was at the end of the list. So at the end of the list, it should mean it's only a small amount of sugar in the mm. cereal, correct mm -hmm. or not? Well, I can't see what you're you're actually doing there. You got to read. Later. I'm going to mute you because I'm getting a lot of static here. I'm going to try to answer your question, okay? Okay, I'm getting a lot of static. Someone. Yeah. Okay, there you, go. there you go. Okay, got it. Okay. All right. The cereal. You got to watch the cereal, of course, because if you don't know what's in it. There are so many cereal boxes. I want y'all to look at the very bottom Always. of your cereal. Always. When you leave out, when you finish this Zoom call, I want you to go and grab your cereal and look at the very bottom. You're going to see it's more sugar. than ever. No, no, no. <laughs> Made with bioengineered ingredients. There you go. Oh. That's more dangerous than the, than the sugar. Oh. <laughs> with bioengineered ingredients. Do you see anything like that on yours? You know, make sure you look at it, okay? You're gonna see this on a lot of the bread also. Okay, a lot of the bread is made with bioengineered ingredients. I saw, um, let's see, what else were they doing? Bread is gonna blow your mind. When you go in, you're seeing that all the bread is in all of the Candy bars, the whole entire Mars company is now bioengineered. You got it? All right, here we go. I'm going to give you a screenshot. I'm going to share my screen here. I want to show you this is what I recommend to go to. Okay, so whenever you're doing Lydia, I want you to go to uh, this particular website and tell me if you're there yet, y'all. Can y'all see it? Yeah, you yeah. go. Gotcha. Okay, you see that? That's non-GMO project. Y'all see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here is where you would do all of the things that you want to look for. For shoppers here, retailers, standard, verified. Get verified. That's if you have a product that you're trying to verify. This is the website that I would recommend you going to to get the update on all the foods and things that have been either modified or you're having problems with. Look at some of the top stories. Non-GMO project news updates. Genetically engineered fish and meat coming to your table soon. Amen. Amen. Are y'all ready for that? <laughs> Amen. Public's opportunities to demand more testing and stricter regulation ends on May the 7th. Mm, that's gone. Bal 
Bellingham, that's, uh, let's see, that's Bellingham, Washington, May 4th, 2021, genetically engineered animals. Wow. See, this is where you would get all the articles and knowing what's going on. Now, there is a website that you can also, it should be here, that you can get all of the foods also. Uh, let me see. Product verified, GMO facts. Uh, usually, you can get all of the list of all of the foods that have been verified. Got it? So, use this part of this website to find things like the cereals. So if you have a cereal that you're looking for, you can download the app for the for the uh, GMO non-GMO project. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, outside bread box. Yeah, some of these are the latest updates. I would use this as a resource for everyone. Okay. The app is a lot easier though. I'm going to tell you. I was looking for something, but I don't seem to find it. Oh, here it is. Verified products right here. Verified products. Here it is right here. See this right here, family? Is everybody looking at this? Did I lose everybody? I'm All right. We're here. We're here. Okay. All right. We're so here. you have, let me move this over here. See what here? Here's the alternative dairy products. Baby foods. You took it and out of the screen. Yeah, you oh. took it out of the screen. The, the, the chat, the chat to the middle. Just move I the chat over, Doctor I got it. I got it. Yeah, move Is it the back channel. over there now? Is it back? Yeah, it's over? there. It's there. Okay. Just move right. the chat over. You'll be fine. I'm sorry. I got so many. I got three screens here, y'all. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's cereals and breakfast foods. Because Lydia was talking about breakfast food, right? <laughs> so here are some of the ones that they recommend right here. See right here. 365 whole foods gluten berries people say i don't know what to eat here you go right here you got all this food right here these are the brands on this side brands whole foods markets all those are different brands right there alpha foods annie's arnell's original see all this we're just in the age y'all this stuff there's a lot of different ones that are out here bakery on main Y'all got this? Yeah. Bare naked. So I would say Bob's Red Mill, one of my favorites right here. Bob's Red Mills. I get um, a lot of products. I get a lot of products from Bob's Red Mill. Bob's Red Mills, yeah. <clears throat> Bob's Red Mill. Excellent. Let's go to him real quick. If you go to Bob's Red Mill, here's Power Pack Seeds, Fresh Salads, Black Food Sovereignty Coalition. Ooh, we've got to check that out, y'all. And spring sweets. So they have a lot of good stuff, y'all. Ready set oats, you know, premium protein powders. So they got a lot of good stuff, y'all. Now that's Bob's Red Mill right there. Got it? So you would just utilize this website, get connected to this link of those that are thinking like we're thinking. You got it? You got to stay yeah. in that link. Try not to do this thing by yourself. Yes. There's a lot of people are in the same situation as you are and they're looking for better quality food look at this one this is another one look at this cascadian farms look at all this yep. good stuff oh good. my goodness look at all this good stuff y'all look wow look at this all this good stuff so just utilize the website cream of wheat uh oh let me pass on that one i gotta keep going <laughs> y'all y'all know about me and cream of wheat you know i got a thing about cream of wheat Everybody get on me about my cream of wheat. But here, <laughs> sensible foods, kids, oatmeals, you know, if you have children, you know, so it's a lot of great stuff. I just want to utilize that because you have to, you have to, you have to start to use other resources and get tied and connected with people that are doing things like you are. You got it? So does that help you, Lydia? Did she go? Did she go? I think she dropped off. Okay, I think she dropped off. Okay. All right, Laverne. I'm gonna yes. take one more. I'm gonna take one more. Laverne and and then Tom. I'm gonna take Laverne, Tom, and, right. and oh, and then we got then got May. We got three left. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you for having me, uh, sparing me my time. Um, I've been going to the chiropractor for years. Mm -hmm. And um, they they examined me and told me that I had scoliosis of the spine with subluxation. Mm hmm. That's a twist of it. Mm -hmm. And the, um, my one chiropractor said to talk to me about how my insurance company does not cover 
the treatment for that. Mm-hmm. So he told me that he wanted me to leave. Mm. Oh, wow. Leave mm. and don't nice. come back to him. Wow. So I went to another chiropractor and he explained almost the same thing. He says, your treatment, d- the insurance company does not cover none of this that I'm doing for you. None of this. Yep. So yep. I, I left him too. Mm-hmm. And then that's after that, I've been gone. I got an inverter table mm-hmm. and I go down in the basement and I get on that inverter table and it stretches my head, neck back and all the stretches, you know, I stretch mm-hmm. on that. But mm-hmm. now you say to go 40 degrees, I don't know my degrees scale, a, a, cl- a 180 is this straight across horizontal. No, 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 no. Look on your device. Oh, if you look on your device, Karen, you can back her up on this, right? The, when your device, you should have a a degree on there where it can show you where you are, what oh, degree I are. See, I didn't see that. Yeah, make sure okay. you look on the side of your device. It's always going to have a <laughs> dial letting you know what degree you're in. I don't know if yours, Karen, does yours have that? Karen, can you hear me? No. Yeah, I can hear you. Mine does not have a dial, but there's a strap where you can adjust the strap. Yeah. For, or you can remove the strap if you want to go a full 90 degrees. I do not do 90. I do 45. Mm-hmm. Which is, 45, which is Oh, no. You don't do it. You don't have to just go 45. Yeah, yeah, you just go to 45. 42 is really the, the, when it takes it off. Yeah. So 42 go, to 45, yeah. I go as far as to elevate my feet above the level of the head. Right. And, and the thing, the, see, the whole thing is this. <clears throat> right. and, and you have, you said scoliosis, right? Yes. Okay, so you have the curvature and the spinning. Yes. Is that the same mm-hmm. time? Yeah. Okay, so now we, we have some softness to the bone. How long have you had this? Has it been a long time? That you had this about thirty years. Okay, so and here we 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 have to start to realize that you know sublation, contraction contraction on this spine on the actual nerves mm-hmm. will cause also other issues. Remember, yes, every nerve right. in your back is connected to an organ in your body. Right. So what you have to do, remember, with all that's going on, when you go into a chiropractor, therapist, or anyone, you have to strengthen the back. Are yes. you doing exercises to build the back? Uh, that's what I do. I go get on the on the inverter table. No, 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 no. The inverter not table exercise. is not exercising. That's pulling not exercise. off the spine. That's that's not exercise. See, you have to strengthen the back. The back is what holds the spine in place. That's the muscles. Right. But remember, we use forward muscles, but we don't use back muscles. That's, that's why side. so many people have weak mat backs. Got it. Mm-hmm. So that's why you got to do things like the row. I would start you off doing row exercises. You row. can actually, you can take the, uh, you know, the hand ones that you got the, with the pulleys, or you can get the straps now. You know, like the yoga straps yeah, that you right actually, now. and you can start pulling. Got it. You got to start have, doing things like this straight up. Got it. So and I, then, have a, I have an over the door uh, bar that I can pull up, pull and pull. And that helps to relieve the the. It's a tight uh, compression. It's right, but but I'm going to say this: you got to put some weight on it, though. That's the whole point. You got to put some, re- you put some resistance to it. You got to put some, you got to put some weight on that. Got it? When you're doing this, if you just start doing like this with your back against the wall, okay, you're going to strengthen your back incredibly. All right. Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Absolutely. Very much. And also rows. You got a row machine. Start the row machine. You got to okay. crunch that back. Uh, uh-huh. You got to crunch that yeah. back. Got it. Yeah. But there are therapies that you can use. Uh, I would also lay flat on your back. That's right. another one. Laying flat on the back. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay, Laverne. Thank you All very right. much. And, All uh, right. I went to another chiropractor and uh, he told me, I guess he the, they don't want me. Because he no, told me he told like me how black I am. I'm black and he's white. And it's just I just I'm had, so sorry to hear that. Laverne, you know, I'm just I want you, a yeah. lot of yeah, he told me how black I am. So mm. I said, Well, what's that got yeah. to do with my treatment? 
I said, you know, he don't want to touch me. And then they start using that. Oh, no, that you don't way. need to. Yeah, Laverne, no, let, me stop you there. Laverne let me stop you. Let me stop you. Stop, hold, stop on, hold, hold on, Laverne. Laverne, Laverne. Laverne, let me stop you here. Don't get too into that energy, okay? You don't go somewhere you don't want to, you know, that's not where you're supposed to be. You're taking too much of this person into your energy. Got it? Mm-hmm. Get away from that. You got to stay away from people like that. Yep. Whether it's racist or whatever, you can't let energy like that. You get yourself into that. Amen. Because Amen. you're pulling, he's pulling you in to that kind mm-hmm. of energy. People will do stuff for whatever crazy reason they're doing. They're insane, whatever. But you can't sit there and try to figure that out. Okay? So don't get into that. Because so. see, it's going to make Amen. it feel like you're a problem. You're not a problem. He's a problem or she's mm-hmm. a problem. He's it. So you got do you it. Have a chiropractor that I can go talk to? about it. Doc. Yes, we have chiropractors. Stay well, I, in your circle. You remember I was telling y'all. Yes. Stay in your circle. Stay you got it. Circle. You got to yeah. start to deal with people who want to deal with you. If you don't, right. know, first of all, number one, if you're in the art of helping people with their health, you have to have compassion. There you go. And if this Amen. person has no compassion. That should have been out the door right there. I would have been like, see you deuces, I'm out of here. Yeah. I don't want to be with this person. I, know right. I don't want you touching me. Right, right. You so know, I'm, you have no compassion for people and you say stuff like that. Oh, so one word and you're out. But I cancel all my appointments with Right, me. but but don't take it personal though. Yeah, don't okay. take it personal. Got yeah. it? Don't take it personal because now you're taking and you're drawing that energy in. Mm-hmm. Don't do yeah. that. Don't give them that satisfaction. There Got you know. it? Don't give him that. You know, give, your God is no, a mighty God. Give no so one that right. control that's right. that's He'll right. He'll slide somebody else right in there to help you, right? right? I know that's so, right. Yeah, so, so, so don't worry about that. Day. But just don't get into that energy. I don't want to see yeah. you in there. There's no way in the world they should mess with your energy oh, like no. that. Don't let yeah. nobody do that. Yeah. Got it? No. Nobody. Nobody does no. that. No. No. So, that so I would say be encouraged. Give me a call. I want to give you... Well, I mean, let me... Let me see. Do I have Dr. Lane? Anybody have Dr. Lane's number? Dr. Lane? Let me see if I got Dr. Lane's number. Call Dr. Lane. Um, I'm going to get Dr. Lane on. Uh, Dr. Lane. L-A-N-E. L-A-I-N-E. Oh, L-A-I-N-E. Okay. Yes. His number is 917. Where are you? Where are you? Look, what part of the city you're in? I'm below the uh, Philadelphia International Airport, right off of off of 95 South, off of Ridley Park, exit eight. Okay, so you would have to travel a little bit for Doctor Lane. He's up in he's up in off of Roosevelt Boulevard, okay. off of uh, right wow. off of Cotton. It, it, it's in the chat, Doctor uh, Doctor Paul. Okay, good, good. So it's nine one seven eight one three three eight one eight eight one three. That's not nine one seven nine one seven. Uh-huh. 803. 803. 803 or 813? Eight, no, 803. It's All right. 803. Mm-hmm. And that's 3818. 3818. Thank you very much. All right. Give him a call. Tell him I sent you, okay? Thank you. There's no... Thank you, I'm, tired. I'm tired of sitting now. Right, right. So you got to do something, right? You got you to... Gotta, not only you stretching... But you're gonna have to. You got the table, but you got to start building that back. Got it? There you go. There you right. go. The muscles. Got to move the muscles. All right. Okay. All right, brother Tom. Brother Tom. Brother Tom. Thank you, oh, man. Appreciate you, brother hey, Tom. You what's doing, up, man? What's <laughs> happening? Oh man, this I miss you, brother. Oh, I miss <laughs> I you miss too, the man. Gathering. Yes, yes, I, I do too. I'm gonna I'm see. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Okay. And uh, I'm bringing a special guest with me. All right, look okay. out, Dr. Ooh, Paul. special I'm bring, guest. I'm bringing, I'm, bringing, I'm bringing Brother Skip. Oh, oh look out, Dr. yes, Dr. that's what's up. You know, he take, you know, he takes better notes than anybody. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a super note taker, man. Definitely, yeah. definitely. You remember, yeah. we'd, be, we'd be sitting in the class, right, in the men's gathering, and uh, somebody always challenged you, Doc. Yes. <laughs> they, well, I said the same thing two years ago, and Skip will pull it up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And we will all look at each other and say, we don't take notes like that. <laughs> he don't take notes he, like that. He, he would say, oh, October the, October the 17th, 2017, at 1235, it was a sunny day 
<laughs> it's a dark Sanders. Yeah, yeah, dark absolutely. Sanders, dark Sanders, same thing. 2017. I yes, think yes. That, you know. Yes, yes. God is good, man. Because you know All we talked time. about in the in the men's <laughs> gathering stuff that we talked about maybe almost 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago is happening right now. It's, yes. it's, it's yes. phenomenal, man. Nothing changed, man. Nothing's new under the sun. Yep. You know, it's all we're experiencing right now. So, yeah, Brother Tom, it'll be good to see you tomorrow, man. Good to see you. Yeah. yeah. Peace and blessings, everybody. And everybody all right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll Take care, buddy. All right. But last but not least, we got May on the line. May, how you doing, May? Hey, I'm here. How are oh. you? You here, you live, and you in color. That's right. Wow. I, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I tell you, um, it's been an awesome week, couple of weeks, actually. And when when you focus on spirit, body, and mind, and God just do what he does because I'm a, I'm a faithful believer. Amen. I am Amen. just trusting God for everything. I am so thankful for you, Dr. Paul, and, 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 and Bill as well. Thank you so much for your time. And, you know, even though I fuss a little bit, but I haven't gotten the uh, little uh, emails. But you know what? I spend enough time on this video. I'll shit right down everything anyway. But <laughs> okay. basically. No, look, basically don't you start what, about, what, the, uh, about, about that. Well, I'm getting them to you. Don't you start because I'll come get you. <laughs> okay, don't you start either. Don't you start. But I just have to say one thing. I am a certified dealer. I'm, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I'm, I'm a doula. doula. I have doula. been trained. Excellent. And, and Excellent. not only that, I have um, eight children. And most of my grandkids, I was there at their birth. Thank the Lord. Thanks oh, to right. the Lord. Great, great. Wonderful. But Wonderful. I just wanted to share with you, and I want to piggyback real quick off of the lady that came uh, in we, on. We first. said piggyback. You mean and veggie back. Veggie back. Veggie back. Piggyback. Oh, well, veg, well, oh, yeah. my, <laughs> oh, yes. You're absolutely right. They tried to get me Sunday, but that's okay. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I want to veggie back on um, the, the, the <laughs> wonderful lady that talked about, you know, we need networks and things together to help, you know, yeah. get some, you know, training and get stuff that can help everybody. And that's where I'm focused at. That's what yes. I've been doing for the last 12 years. Right. And so I'm working with a company right now. Uh, well, I'm not working. I'm, I'm listening to companies and I mean the company and, and they're doing daily exercise and, and nutrition and all those things and and i'm telling you dr paul i do have to apologize to you and the reason why i'm, I'm going to go real quick i apologize because i'm one i text you last week as soon as i found out about this organization that's because i was so excited but i do apologize because i am more i'm more better than that when it comes to the business approach and i'm not asking i'm not offering anything i'm just sharing with you what i have before mm -hmm. me right now i'm just excited mm -hmm. about it Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. to have, and, and I spoke with somebody that is a part of it and, and he's over, he's like, can you please talk to him? So I'm doing it out front. I believe this is just what I do. This is how I am. But anyway, okay. um, I have a consultation time set up with you. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm so excited about that. That's what I'm excited about. Really. All right. Okay. Really. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, Excellent. I just wanted to let you know. And right. if you don't mind, and if you don't mind, and if you're not too mad at me about leaving you a text, I bugged you last week. Oh, no, not <laughs> at all. Let I, I me mean, tell you, you know, oh, when, whenever on. the best way that people can actually get a hold of me is by texting. But see, one one thing that you know, I can't always do is get back to the emails because when I'm always literally family, I'm always yes, with yes. patient. I'm always with someone, you know, usually when I'm sitting with someone, uh, I look at it like this and people will say, you know, and I've gotten uh, sort of, you know, in some ways chastised by others that say you spend too much time with people. Mm. That's what they say. That's what they say, y'all. They say that. You spend too much time with people. Give them something to get away from it. I said, see there? That's why people are sick. Yes. Because yes. no compassion like that. I All look right. at it as that this is the last. I am pretty much sometimes the person that has to tell you what you don't want to hear. That's right. But there at the go. same time. You got to work through all those questions and concerns that you've probably been going through all your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a little thing that may be stopping you from your breakthrough, but you never worked it out. You never had the different perspective. So that's why I'm saying that it takes time to work things out, but you got to have compassion for each other. We lost compassion for people. Yes. yes. 
Nobody Absolutely. wants to sit no more. Everybody's rushing. Everybody wants it. Stab Amen. and grab. You know, Amen. get it, got it, got it. You know, you got it. You, you, everything is too fast. That's why everybody's so sick. So that's why I try to spend the time because I look at it as this may be the last time you get this information. Amen. Got it? And the information that you get may save your life or maybe the life of somebody else. Amen. That's exactly Or a person you have never even met yet. There you go. There you go. That's the way I look at it. That's my perspective. So, so may I understand, be encouraged, keep that, keep that same energy. You know, when someone inspires you, you need to stay around that energy. That's go. the energy you you stay yes. around. You say iron Amen. sharpens iron. There you go. That's why I'm yes. having it. That's why we have the family tree. It's hard to get out of here sometimes. It's nine yeah. o'clock, y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's again. hard to get out of here. That's right. Probably you'll get you, boy. You better watch it. <laughs> Prophet is the left already. This is it. <laughs> yeah, she said, I can't take she it. Said, I can't take it no <laughs> more. She said, I can't take it and no last more. And thing, Dr. Paul, is this. Um, I just spoke with Deron Miller, and he told me to tell you how hello. That's my nephew. Uh, All that's right. Nephew? All Are right. you serious? Yes. Oh, man, that's yes. my buddy. All right. Send him my okay, regards. That is truly my right, buddy. Babe. That is truly my buddy. No, All we right. appreciate thank you very much. much. All right. We thank you so much. much. All right, thank family. You. It's time to go. We Yo, got man. to get out of here. Oh, Lord. Big Yo, B, man. tell them, give them the sign off, man. Ooh. Tell them how they can uh, help us keep this thing going. Yes, sir. As always, guys, you know, it's 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 what we it's what we do. That is keeping the family healthy and and, and going. And the, the best way to, to continue to support the family tree is to just to share a little something on Dr. Paul's cash app. And of course, you've seen it there. We have it in the chat right now. That's the dollar sign, capital D-R, capital P-A-U-L, capital H-O-P. Uh, and uh, make sure just Send it out to somebody. Share. Listen, nowhere in the world can you gain the kind of information that you get anywhere else except right here at the tree. If you want a copy of the nice chat, just drop a little note in, in, in into the chat area right there to uh, mechavideo at gmail.com. That's mechavideo at gmail.com. That comes directly to me. So as soon as we get off the air, Dr. Paul gets everything to me. And guess what? I'll do my best to pop it on and, and get it out to you tomorrow and have, have the video loaded by Friday. So he's been pretty good at that. I've been getting, I've been pretty good lately, Bill. He's been pretty good. <laughs> I, I don't have to whip him like, too late. Yeah, he ain't guys, been having but... to whip me lately. <laughs> Yes. But, you know, it, it's important that we do it this way, guys, because you know what? You guys are who we are here for, the family. We appreciate you. We love you. Yes, we love you. And I want to say it's time to go. But, oh, hey, no. thank you so much for all the questions, all the concerns. Everyone, you did great tonight. And I'm glad that you're continuously staying on focus. You know, don't let this corona thing get on right. top of you. Just keep doing what you do. Build the immune system. Stay in touch with what the number one thing you got inside of you, which is your immune system that God gave you. Yeah, Turn the yeah, key. Yeah. That means... Do things spirit, mind, and body. Clean your mind. Clean. Stay away from bad folks, too. Them vampires. Ooh, me, them I know vampires. That's true. Them folks I know that that's tear true. your energy up. That's right. All right. Yes, sir. So I want to thank you all for chiming in. It's been a pleasure. And remember, be encouraged because if you're breathing, you got a shot. You got a shot. Yes, got a shot. Oh. All right. Let's pat, dance pat, it on pat. out, y'all. Dance it on out. Dan dance it uh -huh. out and, and pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 that's right, Pat. Yeah, you too. Hey. <laughs>
my brother. You are a pleasure and a blessing. Thank you so much for all you do, man. Yeah, man. And continue to do the things you're doing. We will see y'all on the weekend on WURD. And I want everyone to have a wonderful, wonderful Memorial holiday. All right? Be safe out there. Stay hydrated. Get your fruit and vegetables. Yes, yes. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. Come on, Zambi. Are you ready? Come on, Zambi. Are you ready? Come on, Big B. All right, damn it, y'all. Y'all just get on here. Y'all just want to dance. That's all. That's it. That's it. Hey, that works. There you go. There you go. All right. Thank you for joining us on the family tree. Peace, family. Love y'all. God bless y'all. May God keep y'all is my prayer. All right. Thank you, God. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. Share what you learned tonight. Share, 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 share.